Hello, and welcome to this week's Hanzo Break. Brought to you by... My beard. <sighs> it's Sivo Week, and you know what that means. Last minute GoFundMes. It means thousands and thousands of players are flocking to the desert to play some video games. As always, Street Fighter 4 is stacked and has the most entrance numbers at EVO 2015. Now I wanted to make a video showcasing some players you need to watch out for, but I can only fit so many because there's so many good players showing up. I focused on a few players from various regions and focused on their performance in 2015. So let's take a look at the players to look out for at EVO 2015. Exploding on the scene is this newcomer from Japan. Born in America, he recently moved over to Japan to learn Street Fighter and fishing. After a long day of fishing, Mago trains every day to be the best Yang in his village. He had an impressive tournament season thus far, winning hype spotting. With incredible spacing and supreme composure, he defeated his teammate Tokido in Grand Finals. Mario also won Seam 2015, defeating, you guessed it, Tokido in Grand Finals. Seam was one of the most stacked tournaments of the whole year, boasting a huge roster of Japanese players, so it shows Mago winning in several regions. However, Mago has had a hard time winning in America, getting 13th at that final round, and losing to both PR Balrog and 801 Strider at CEO. He has the most Capcom points coming into EVO. Will he have what it takes to win? Up next is a top player in virtually every game he touches, Kazunoko. He shows how far fighting game skill can permeate across the genre. Being a Guilty Gear legend, Kazunoko actually went by his tag Inoue, which is actually his last name, but then he changed it to Kazunoko after a feud with Sako. If you break the name down, Kaz meaning peace, no meaning no, and Ko symbolizing Sako, if you put it all together, it means no peace with Sako. Kazunoko is feared by many players due to his erratic decision making, yet he still makes it incredibly far in almost any tournament he enters. Kazunoko has gotten 2nd at Masters Cup, 2nd at Shadow Showdown, 2nd at South by Southwest, 4th at Final Round, 7th at NCR, 4th at CPT Asia Qualifier, 4th at KVO, 4th at Seam, and 1st at CEO. He has only ever not gotten top 8 once in 2015 at Stunfest, getting 13. With this impressive record and his propensity for emoticons, Kazunoko is a definite frontrunner to take the tournament. The enigmatic chicken eating, um, lewd. Infiltration is a fan favorite of the stream monsters and a longtime threat in the Street Fighter 4 era. Hailing from Korea, Infiltration boasts an incredible character pool. He has used 11 characters in tournaments this year, and even used 6 characters in one tournament alone. Some say he started learning so many characters to distract himself from the grief of losing a loved one, throwing himself into the game to distract him from the pain. Whatever the case, Infiltration has traveled to a buttload of tournaments and has actually won a few regional tournaments including Sonic Boom, Toryuken, and Texas Showdown. He also won 9 states in CPT Asia Qualifier, both fairly stacked Japanese tournaments. With his insane character variety, it serves as a huge advantage since he is one of the few players that can effectively counterpick a variety of matchups. Will we see the EVO 2012 winner take another title, or will he drive his car to the sea to gaze out into the endless ocean? Bunko, also from Korea, likes to take his shirt off. He does it all the time, he just takes it off. Yeah. He also gets very angry because he plays Seth and no one respects him because Seth is stupid and why does he have a command grab? Like, what were you thinking, Ono? Why SRK and command grab, Ono? Anyway, Punko has an incredibly flashy playstyle and he would often risk a win with a crazy combo or reset than winning the match with a safer option. His nickname is The Machine because he would literally wake up, play Street Fighter all day, sleep, wake up, and do it all over again. He has won Kings, taking out Sako in Grand Finals, but recently only plays 17th that scene. Will he have what it takes to hulk through the brackets of EVO, or will he sit in the corner and sadly put on his shirt? Moving on to Europe, they have no players because they all suck. <laughs> Europe sucks. Oh boy. And last and best, we have the United States of America, the greatest country God has ever given Earth on the history of the face of the... Having just graduated middle school, Knuckle Dude is a product of an experiment from the East Coast Illuminati to produce the greatest American player of all time. With equal parts guns and freedom, Knuckle Dude bores his opponents to death with some lame ass guile play. The best guy in the world, Knuckle Dude possesses a zen like patience and propensity for winning unwinnable matchups. Placing third at NorCal Regionals, a tournament with significant international presence, cemented Knuckle Dude as a threat for the rest of the turning season. Winning Combo Breaker, he hoisted the American flag over his head as he stood on the corpses of his fellow Americans. Now King of America, Knuckle Dude fell short at CEO, placing only ninth. Will the King of America defend our hollow shores from the scores of outsiders invading this weekend? 
If Knuckle Dew is the king of America, then PR Balrog is the god of America. Floating above us mere mortals, he still uses Balrog after six years of being undoubtedly the best Balrog in the world. His aggressiveness combined with his incredible spacing and game knowledge overwhelms most opponents trying to deal with Balrog's great normals and surprisingly effective pressure game. Bjorn Balrog sports a dismal rank 25 on the CPT standings due to his overall poor placing this year and only got top 8 once at a CPT event. Announcing his retirement early this year, he was poised to reside in Valhalla forever. But like Cher, P.R. Balrog is back, getting top 8 at CEO 2015 where he went on a rampage like that dinosaur from Turok during the Exhibition Royal Rumble feeding 20 plus players in a row. Then he went into the tournament bracket like a Puerto Rican dinosaur from Turok and after losing the gamer in pools, ran it all the way to losers finals where he was put down by 801 Strider. Back to his old form, it seems P.R. Balrog is poised to take out as many names as he needs in order to win this year. Unfortunately, P.R. Balrog was recently poisoned. He has since been cleared from the hospital, but many wonder who would poison P.R. Balrog. Would it be someone who is jealous of him? Maybe haunted by past mistakes and wants to lash out? Maybe he is beleaguered by the thought that he is not America's favorite player anymore. In any case, I hope the person who poisoned him comes forward, whoever they may be. Back to you, Putin.